Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are going to do a run against Janemba here. So I have already beaten all the Red Zone stages, um, but I haven't recorded some of them yet. So we're going to do a recording of Janemba. Um, I will use up to my three attempts in this video. Hopefully we'll get in one of them. Um, but my previous team clear was with the Ginyu Force, so we'll try to do it again. Um, I think this is a fairly good team build that you can get through a lot of Red Zone with. Um, just because the four main Ginyu Force units are very strong, and then you can just slap in two Golden Freezes. So well, let's go ahead and try it. Um, <clears throat> the thing that um, can be really bad about AGL Golden Frieza is if you happen to fall below 40% HP before the turn he shows up, he's literally a dead duck on the next turn. Um, so we just have to make sure it doesn't happen. Um, and sometimes RNG will just do that to us, so we'll see. Um... Oh, I got to turn auto battle off. We do not want to auto battle right now. So here's the thing. Uh, Raccoon and Galdo are coming onto rotation next turn. So I think I am okay slapping Golden Freezer right away here in slot one um, to just tank. Because AGL Ginyu hasn't built up and he's got type disadvantage here. So he could actually get hit really hard. Um, and then physical Ginyu, I kind of want him floating anyways. So I think this is good. I'm not using any items here. Oh shoot, I forgot how many phases this Janemba is. Uh, that's got to help me with my item planning. I think I want to say it's at least three phases. Maybe it's only two, though. Um, I'll have to double check. I know this first phase is pretty tanky. We'll see. I <clears throat> This might only be a two-phase fight, if I remember right. I could be wrong, though. And that's the thing. Like I've already done it, and I barely already barely remember the fight. So uh, we'll just experience it again here with you all and see if we can't get through. Uh, the Broly fight definitely was a pain. Um, it took me seven attempts to get Broly done, but we finally did it. Um, Tech Gogeta was really important to that. And then um, Int Broly was really good as well. So uh, that Int Dokkan Fest Broly is actually a very good red zone unit. Um, just because he stacks defense and he has damage reduction. So he's got two really good things going for him there. <clears throat> All right. So... Um, I'm actually tempted to put Jason Berner in slot one. Um, they've got type advantage, their defenses and all that. Um, but I'm going to put him there and hope that they can dodge if a super comes their way. I think that is the play here. Um, and then, yeah, float the Golden Frieza. <clears throat> so we'll go with that. Um, the more attacks we can get with Ginyu, the better to let him stack up, right? Um, Ginyu's not getting hit here, so that's good. Okay, so dodge. Dodge, okay. Uh, once again, the we just need the important dodge. This is good because they do build up a little bit in their passive. So this is good that they didn't take any hits before building up. That's awesome. Okay, two mil attack stat there. We'll take it. I definitely need more dupes of this guy. I think this guy's only at 55%. Um, and somehow I keep pulling Rakum and Goldo off banner. And uh, I've got him rainbowed plus like an extra copy. So I uh, wouldn't mind getting some of these Jason Birders. <laughs> Um, hopefully for worldwide. I'm definitely pulling a lot. Um, I've got 1,600 stones right now. And I'm going to buy all the sale stones on worldwide. So I'm going to be well over 2,000 stones for that celebration. So I'm going to be... Your boy's going to be looking good on stones. <laughs> so we'll have to see. Um, I don't know. Depending on what the units are, it's going to depend on how deep I go. But those banners are going to be very good. All right. And we tanked that just fine. So that's good there. <clears throat> now this is good because Raccoon and <clears throat> Galdo can sit in slot one and get hit. Which is what we want. Uh, how's this friend getting you looking here? 362k defense already. Not bad. Um, I got to get me some dupes in Ginyu. Uh, really hoping um, they Ginyu comes back soon. Um, it would be like if he actually came back on the Raditz banner, I would probably pull or just buy him with red coins depending on the rest of the banner. But I might pull a little bit just to get like the new Raditz. But it's more likely that AGL Dokkan Fest Trunks will be on there and I'm not worried about getting him. Um, I already have him at 55%. I don't use him a lot as is. So he is a good unit though. Um, but I'm not worried about getting dupes in him right now. So I'm definitely going to be a full skip on Raditz if that's the case. <clears throat> Once again though, Dokkan will probably do um, discounted multis and tickets. So when I skip banners, if they do those, I, I'll at least do like those sale type things. But I'm not going to hop in for like regular 50 stone multis. That's for sure. Okay. So, right here, I think Jason Bird. Yeah, and we're just flying through this just fine. Um, Actually, what's my Ginyu's defense? 349. Um, I'm actually tempted to put Ginyu in slot 1 to guarantee a super, but I have a feeling that Jason Birder still won't take Janemba out. 
I'm going to bank on that and hopefully still get the super here with uh, AJL Ginyu to stack defense. That's what I'd like to do here. Let's see what happens. All right, so the, the dodge, like they're, they're looking really nice with the dodges. All right, let's hope this does not take Janemba out. <clears throat> if it does, it does. That's fine. Okay. All right. No, that worked out perfect. And AJL Ginyu, hopefully, I think AJL Ginyu here is effective against all types. So this should take him out. Should take him out, right? Yep. Effective against all types. Perfect. All right. So now we're going to the next phase. Um, yeah, I think this I think this is it. I think this is the last phase because I think he has a rage mode. So, um, yeah, he's got the fear meter. So, yeah, this is the last phase of Janemba. So we just have to get this guy out of here. Um, this, like, the Ginyu team is, like, so defensive. It's crazy. Like, look at this rotation. Like, they're not, Janemba can't touch this rotation. Uh, Rakum and Goldo tanking like a boss. Ginyu's already at 500k defense, and that freeze has got all the damage reduction. Like, as long as you... As long as they don't catch you off guard early, like you're going to be keeping your health above 40% and then these golden freezes are just going to be crazy because um, they're just going to tank. Like, And this golden freeze has got type disadvantage, doesn't matter with all the damage reduction. Like He, he definitely won't take double digits from a super, but it's not going to be like a devastating amount. Um, so we're getting supered here, which is probably the best spot that Janemba could super us because uh, Rakum and Goldo is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, 100k. Um, this Janemba hits very hard, by the way. Um, so only taking 100k is actually quite good. I'm pretty sure this Janemba is sitting somewhere around a million damage, maybe seven to 800k, something like that. So to only take 100k from that is very, very good. <clears throat> and then Ginyu is going to do his thing here. Um, I don't know. This could just end up being a no item run with how smooth this is going. But um, I just want to get a solid recording in. So if I need to use a Whis, I'll use one. Uh, we'll see what the rotations are looking like. Because here's the thing, the physical Ginyu Force is kind of like the weakness defensively, but he's got type advantage here. Now, I believe when um, he goes into Fury Mode, I think he changes to Tech, I believe. Um, he, I'm pretty sure he changes typings, though, so then that might change. We'll see what's we'll see what's going on. Uh, so what's Frieza going to take here? Yeah, so Frieza's still taking like 28k normals. Um, that's with 80% damage reduction. So yeah, this Janemba hits very hard. <laughs> Alright, but AGL um, Frieza here is fine. He's going to tank. I could do a Ginyu transformation. My defense isn't quite as high as I would like. The question is, is do I transform? I guess I do, because then I could get potentially Scouter and know what's going on. I feel like this turn, though, I feel like I am going to just Whis here. I feel like this is a Whis turn. I'm tempted to not heal, though. Um, uh, the orbs didn't really work out, but I'm, I'm tempted to... Um, not use, yeah, I'm going to not use Ginyu's transformation here. And we're just going to let it ride. We'll let AGL Frieza get a hit here too. Um, I could regret this. We'll see. Because even with Wiesan, we could take a lot of damage here. So now we're good for the next two turns on Wies. And then by the time, you know, we go through a second Wies, we'll probably just about have this guy dead. The thing with the Ginyu team is they're not the strongest offensively, right? So... Um, that does bode well for Ginyu, like, building up defensively, but it does take longer to kill the bosses. Um, it doesn't have as much firepower as, say, like, the Year 7 teams, right? The Year 7 teams, they can more kind of, like, blow through these, and their their defense is, like, a good offense, right? Like, getting through it very quick. All right, so Fury is exploding. All right. So, okay, he's physical type, okay. So, well, <laughs> this rotation's perfect right here. Because look, physical Ginyu, I can just hide him. Because I don't think he locks me. Yeah, so we can just hide physical Ginyu. Um, this Ginyu actually could transform just fine. So let's transform this Ginyu. He's got a lot of defense. I think this Ginyu is good to transform. Yeah, he still has 650k defense after transforming. We are seeing a super attack. Oh, sorry, Janemba. Rakum and Goldo is right there. <laughs> Rakum and Goldo is just right there waiting to tank that super. So that's good. Um... So this turn, we know we're good. And we had Whis this turn also. So, like, we're doubly good here. Like, this is going to be double digits because of Whis. I would say without Whis, though, Rakum and Goldo would still take some damage here. But I think this should be double digits with Whis on. If he still takes damage with Whis, I mean, this, this Janemba is hitting really hard. Yeah, double digits. Okay. Okay, it's nice when that Scouter comes through. Once again, it's just a chance, though. It's not guaranteed. Okay. 
I mean, this guy's pretty tanky. So next turn, I don't no longer have a Whis. So I might need to hold out and not just like spam my Whises here. We'll have to see what the turn's looking like if I feel like I can handle it or not. Um, now that we got this Ginyu out, though, we finally got a few life bars off. Like, he was hitting pretty good. And this physical Ginyu should lay in a nice shot as well. Five mil, it's not bad. <clears throat> Global really needs that tech LR Ginyu easy. I wish that would have come early. I really do. Because he is very good. All right, so right here, we're definitely not putting Jason Burner in slot one. Um, do I feel good enough with my Ginyu here? 500k defense, is that enough for him just to tank this out? I don't know. I could use my other Whis, or I could just put Golden Frieza there. Um, You know what? We've only got six life bars left. Let's just go ahead and Whis again. I have a feeling that even at 500k defense, I could actually get pretty smacked up by a super. Because this Janemba in Fury is going to be hitting very, very hard. So we'll just use a Whis to be safe. And then, so rather than take my chances now, I'd rather just get my two safe turns in and then we'll take my chances when I'm out of items and I have no choice. Um, then we'll take our chance there. Because then I might have the option to transform Ginyu, maybe get a scouter, know where the super is coming, something like that. But um, my Ginyu is always the weaker of the Ginyus because mine's at 55%. So he doesn't stack nearly as quick as the other Ginyus do. That's why the friend Ginyus in my videos are always like way defensively okay and mine just needs way extra stacking. So yeah, we took 83k there with a Whis on. So I think we definitely needed the Whis. That would have stung. Big time that would have stung. Holy buckets, that would have hurt really bad. And that and that would have set us up bad here because ADL Frieza pops up and we probably would have been under 40%. So I think using the Whis there was actually pretty darn important. Um, Yeah, with a Whis, uh, ADL Frieza is going to tank that just fine. Um, so we'll go ahead and try to grab as many healing type orbs as we can here. It's nice that the Scouter's been coming through. Um, sure, we'll grab those. All right. Oh, and we're getting the uh, Dokkan attack here with Raccoon and Goldo. I guess I would have rather have had that with Ginyu. Um, I'm always, I'm notorious for this, guys. I never pay attention to my Dokkan meter. Had I been paying attention to it, I probably would have put Ginyu there. But this is like a type advantage shot. So let's try it. I mean, Ginyu, I think, also has effective against all types, and he, he's going to have a higher attack set. So 3.2 uh, definitely would have got more damage out of Ginyu, but this is fine. Let's see what we got here. Let's just do a big chunk. There we go. Nice little chunk there. Uh, Ginyu, we need some additional, some crits. Uh, let's do a lot of... We, I'm getting to the point where, like, all right, we got to take this guy out pretty quick now because I'm, I'm out of items here, and I don't just want to have this run die on me here because... Uh, we're almost there, and I don't want to waste this recording. All right, so let's let Frieza tank this. Um, he's going to tank it for sure because he's got 90% plus another 40% damage reduction. So I think he's good. He should be double digits the whole way here. This is why the Freezers are good, is when these bosses like to do this pesky like slot 3 super, you know you've got a tank sitting there, right? Um, so now I'm out of items. So now we're just chancing everything here. Um, Ginyu can't transform. 545k defense is better. We're going to put Ginyu in slot one. Um, hope we don't just get one shot out of here. I mean, Janemba has supered like the last few turns, so maybe he'll give us a break this turn. This would be a great turn to not get supered. All right, double digit normals is good. We're not under Whis right now, so um, at least we're getting some defense stacks here. If I could get a triple super here, that would be absolutely ideal. Um, not as likely with a 55% Ginyu, though. Yep, just a double attack, only one super. Okay, uh, if Jason and Birder get tagged here and they don't dodge, we're probably dead. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. If we get tagged with... Even normals are going to sting really bad here because they're type disadvantage. So let's see. Okay, dodge. Give me another dodge, please. Okay. Woo! <laughs> uh, even those normals guys were going to be very scary right there. So Jason and Birder, man, their dodge chance is really good. Very good unit with all the support they're giving. All right. Oh, double digits for this guy. That's good. All right, and then that worked out nice because this is like my super safe turn. So this is my turn that I'm fine with like no items anyways. And we're getting the super on the end. Um, and I think I'm okay with Golden Frieza with 80% damage reduction tanking that. Should be fine. Um, let's go ahead and do this. I don't want to mess up my rotations. Um, I think we're definitely going to take damage though, but it, with 80% damage reduction, it shouldn't be that bad. Oh, he can dodge. What a butthead. 
Oh, that hurts because we got to get him dead now because we're at the point where we, we don't have items, right? See, oh, Janemba, seriously? If he dodges, if he keeps dodging like this, like we're going to be in trouble because we can't like outlast this guy forever because at some point he's going to tag the wrong spot with the super. Okay, there we go, Ginyu. He tagged one of them. I wish both of them would have hit. Frieza here is not going to do damage anyways. I don't care if he dodges this. I wish this is what he would have dodged. Um, it's a little damage. We got him down to two life bars. All right. How much is Golden Freezer going to take here? This is 80% damage reduction. 163k still. Wow. Uh, is that enough to get me a transformation? I would transform here probably. Yeah, I think I might actually transform here. Because uh, then, yeah, I'm at 500 whatever k, but I need to know if the super's coming in a certain spot. I want to know it. All right. So either Janema's not supering or our, we didn't proc, right? Um, I think Ginyu and Slot 1 is definitely to play. I think if we like triple super, triple crit, we can actually could take him out here. Um, Jason Berger is going to do this. And I guess Golden Freeze is going to do that. Um, Janemba has got to be nice and not dodge us here. That is for sure. Um, let's see what my Ginyu can do here. All right, this hit's going to tag. Uh, let's get a lot of damage here. Give me some crits. Okay, we've almost got him. Give me, a, give me another one. Okay, don't dodge. Okay, this might actually take him out if we crit. Oh boy, this is going to be close. Okay, we got him. Woo! There it is, guys. We got it. Because I was going to say, worst case scenario, he survives that. Jason Birder, don't kill him and they tag. If they tag Jason Birder, we would have been dead there. So there you go, guys. There's a clear. Um, got a little dicey at the end. But for the most part, we weren't really in danger. Like, our health didn't get that low. Once again, RNG helps with that. You could use this exact same team and... You know, Jason Berger just don't dodge and you get tagged. But um, there's my Janemba clear. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you all on the next one.